rotocopters. Where do you find that at? I make these. You do? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, did you see the flight? Yeah. Yeah, this will take off from the ground, but this is a little bumpy. Oh, yeah. If it's on cement, then it'll take off from cement. Otherwise, you know, just a hand talk. Okay, we're still rolling. These are the new blades. We're testing, uh, I think it's April 2nd. Blades are working extremely well. I just gotta mass produce the blades. Make sure this is running okay here. No, no, th see that's the difference between an auto gyro and a helicopter. The helicopters are motor driven. They drive the, the propeller at the top. Mm -hmm. This one's just free uh, spinning. And all it does is basically balance it, keep it upright? Uh, actually this this is the guy that's doing the, the pushing. Yeah. So this is called a pusher design. And uh, all this does is just generate uh, lift. This becomes oh. like a like an airplane, you know, has a wing. Okay, that's you know. why you have it as a, at a little angle, huh? Yeah, it's got to be at a little angle, and then this is DC control, which oh, is direct nice. control. You got mixing there. And then, uh, of course, I have directional here, you know, which has got a rudder. If you go on YouTube, you'll see all my videos there under MIA Easy Gyro. And it's all in the blade. These are my, my own blades. Actually, the whole thing is mine. I mean, uh, uh, besides the, the, the structure, which is a typical Benson, the guy that designed the real one. take off on a flat surface, it's going to roll oh, until compared. that spins fast enough to lift it up. Then. Yeah, yeah. It, unfortunately, those guys are playing there. Otherwise, I, I would yeah. take it off from there. We have a slight breeze coming this way. So, so you we, fly, you take off against the wind? Against the wind. Yeah, just like an airplane. Yeah. And then this spins by itself. You know, I have a switch here that I can enhance the pitch. See that? And, but as soon as it takes off, I have to let it go, otherwise it becomes real sensitive. I mean, you saw it take right, off. It, right. This climbs like crazy. Will it do flips then? Oh yeah. In my videos, I do flips. I'm when the real... they come out with your kit, are they going to be styrofoam tails like that? Yeah, this is just my prototype. Right. The final one is beautiful. I mean, I... But these are the blades from the final one. So right. I'm, I'm testing these. Was well, is this going to be all closed in on the final one? The, no, this is going to be, it's going to have a canopy. It, it'll have a, of course, it, it'll be nice, you know, the decals, all the all yeah. the works, but it, it'll be like this. And I, I have these pilots that fit in here, just a, oh, a molded yeah. pilot. Yeah. It's got to be lightweight to perform, oh, yeah. but it'll be open like this. This can take a licking and still fly. It's pretty durable. So is that bar going across plastic or fiberglass? This is fiberglass. All the the all one going up here is too? These are carbon. These are carbon rods. No, not those, the white one. That's the, fiberglass. The, the white one, is, one. No, this is wood. So that's wood, and this is wood. So that's all wood, and then it's got carbon reinforcements. You know, the, this is fiberglass reinforcement here. I could make this out of aluminum, full carbon. But you don't need to. You got to put the strength where it needs it. I made aluminum ones, but the, the weight it just shoots up twice as much. Yeah. And this is the lightest I can make it. That's why it flies so good. Let me toss it again. <laughs> Ah, a little bit of a rough landing there. My camera's still recording great. I thought my battery was low. Alrighty, let's put another battery. That's a loop. That's another loop.